Hi everyone, my name is Harjot and welcome to For the Love of Gadgets. In today's video, we will unbox the Indian retail unit of my Silver Surfer, aka the S21 Ultra. This is not a review unit and we have recently purchased it. We also made a vlog of that. The link is there in the card. Now, would that be all? Of course not. We will also give you our first impression on the build quality, display, performance and cameras. We also did a small connect between us as in me and the subscribers and we shared the challenges that we are facing, the fact that why we make more videos in English. Hope you have seen that and you will continue supporting us, understanding the issue that we face and the reason behind that. So what are we waiting for? Let's start with the unboxing. Now, if you're wondering what the hell Note 10 Plus box is doing here, this is just to show you the difference in the box size then and now. Now, I'll just take it off and there you have the S21 Ultra box. Now, there's no Samsung branding up top. You do get to see Samsung written here. On the left, you see Galaxy written and here S21 Ultra. We've got the phantom silver color, that's why it's in silver. At the bottom, we have the model number, color, ROM, RAM and IMEA numbers. The back side reveals the content, price, year and month of manufacturing alongside the country the device is manufactured in. There is a definite heft to the phone, it's on the heavier side, but the build is great too. So if you're someone who is prone to using light phones, then there would definitely be some surprise for you. With the cover, the weight will even go up, but then I'm really happy with the build quality. At one hand, we are trying to be environmental friendly and on the other side, we provide two separate layer of plastic protection up on top of the screen. As we take the physical overview, it was strange to see that there was no plastic protection given to the bezel, which I would have liked. Once again, I must say that I'm so very satisfied with the build and finish of the product. I found the Phantom Silver more refreshing appealing and I really like the frost finish even more so the change in the color. The phantom black is good too, it's just that I like this one more. There is a plastic film on the camera module as well. Next in the box is basically the SIM ejector tool, the cable, followed by some documentation. And that's it. The display on the S21 Ultra is one of the best available in market. It's gorgeous, it's full of colors, full of life. This is by far the best display that I have come across.
will now move to performance and camera section simultaneously. With respect to performance, I have never faced issues so far with my 10 days of usage. We also did end to the benchmark test and saw the rise in the temperature, the decrease in the battery and so on, which we'll just highlight right now. And camera has been equally been able to impress me. Having said that, from first impression perspective, we are really happy that the device is working as it intend to. However, we'll get into the sustained performance and all those things for this unit at a later stage. As of now, just have a look at this. And if you have been liking the video, a sub would be lovely. We are connected to Wi-Fi with battery 33%. Motion smoothness is adaptive. Screen resolution is full HD+. While the testing is going on, let's also hear out the speakers. Once again, they are top notch, one of the best. The rise in the temperature was 10.5 degrees, wherein the battery use was 5%. Considering it was running at 120Hz, overall it's a good performance and we got the score of 630,000. Not bad. The S21 Ultra can capture awesome pictures which are crisp, clear and the colors are 
near natural. I did not find any oversaturation happening. I heard some YouTubers did highlight the same specifically for green areas like leaves and so on. But what do you say after watching all these pictures? Do you think there is oversaturation at play? Please do comment and let me know. This is a video sample where we tried switching to different cameras just to see how smooth the transition is and captured pictures as well at 10x and 20x zoom respectively. As we switch from one lens to another, the transition could have been a little more smooth and I think this can be fixed. However, what is noteworthy is the quality of the video whether at 10x or 20x. We also clicked some pictures at 10x and 20x respectively. Have a look at those as well. of indoor video from the front camera imagine that I am right now in indoor lighting once you are outside in sunlight I'm just thinking the detail that it can capture I mean this is freaking awesome man time to conclude now this was the unboxing and initial impression or initial review of the s21 ultra we covered the unboxing part check the build quality the display performance and cameras. In all these departments, the device stood best and I think the experience was nothing less than excellent. I was amazed, amazed, amazed with the screen clarity, the refresh rate, the response. It was so fluid and I would also like to highlight the sound is phenomenal. I was amazed to see that the speakers has been tuned by AKG. I mean, by far they are the best speakers that I've heard. I do have Note 10 Plus as well, but then this is even awesome. Now, my first impression, if you ask me, the device is an excellent one. I know 
there has been discussions around the performance of Exynos versus Snapdragon. But let me tell you a few things. Both of them edge somewhere or the other. It's not that the Snapdragon 888 version is completely ahead of Exynos. Having said that, Samsung is also coming up with a lot of updates. They are hearing to the feedback. The Exynos... We will also come with long term video, which probably will take time. However, in between, I'll put some videos with detailed more performance, sustained performance and heavy tasks. I hope you get a further clarity with respect to how good the Exynos version is. You must have seen in the beginning that I dropped the phone. It was while recording this scene. I was to pick up the phone and then it just dropped. I was like, oh boy, I'm ready for 30, 40,000 of screen cost. But then the Victus saved it. There's not been even one scratch on the phone. Thank God. Now, luckily, I've also got this uh, insured. You can say Samsung charges somewhere around 2600 for the screen for one year. So if you're buying this phone, do opt for that. Now, if you ask me two things, there are that I did not like. One is the buttons. They are so very thin. I mean, they could have been a little chunky. Second is the bezel at the bottom. Now, this might be some sort of nitpicking that you can say, but then at the bottom, I think they could have been a little lesser. So these are the two things which I think could have been done better. All in all, I would say with the Exynos version, you are good to go. Need not to worry. Time to say goodbye. So guys, that's it. Hope you've liked the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for all. Share the video with your friends and family. Do take care. Stay safe. Peace.